Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, look in the description below. Email me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com, your purchase and pricing inquiry email for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch that had a relatively short production life, and during that period, the 5200G-010, the Gondolo Date 8 8 Days, was rarely ordered and scarcely built. This is a genuinely uncommon modern-day white metal Patek Philippe complication, which means down the road there is serious collector potential. So only made from 2013 to 2018, I'm surprised that more people didn't order it because it is so nicely sized. White gold, gray gold, that is white gold straight through, not rhodium plated. It's 46.4 millimeters from lug to lug. It measures 32.3 millimeters across the case, not including the crown, and it's nice and slim. Thinner than I expected, a 10.5 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now, throwing it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, it's got an impressive presence, even as it doesn't really come anywhere near the edge of my wrist. You can see from overhead, I have to really pull the strap down tight to create the impression that it's anywhere close to the edge of my wrist. Wearing it loose, it is exceptionally comfortable and cradles the wrist with a curved case back. I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. You can see the sloped flank and the thin profile. It really is quite appropriate for a dress cut. Now, taking a quick look at the hardware and the software, this one's dressed up a little bit. Uh, I actually love the fact that this is a Patek Philippe factory strap in brand new condition, calfskin on the bottom, gloss, large rectangular scale, anthracite alligator leather on top with a contrasting red stitch, and then there's a sheer side showing the layers of the leather. There's also a little bit of bolstering to add some volume and give it that premium look and feel. The buckle is a simple spade style polished white gold Patek Philippe buckle and it matches the case. Rolling back to the case, you can see the gondolo is lovely and tiered when viewed in profile. It's almost like the side of the Chrysler building turned on its head and then slightly elongated. It really does look like the tiers of the peak of New York's most famous skyscraper. Uh, the profile is entirely polished. You can see that arcing end-to-end -end curvature, and you can also see how it arcs along its case back for outstanding fit. Uh, the crown is nicely recessed. That countersink is an excellent aesthetic measure to prevent the crown from sticking out like a sore thumb. It's well integrated into the case band, and you can see that the crystal is both shaped and cambered, so it arcs from side to side, and it's pointed and shaped. It's a rectangular crystal with a dramatic beveled box section profile, not a cheap sapphire by any means and not an easy watch to achieve water resistance and yet Patek Philippe does it. The dial is best described as silver white, more white than silver. As you can see the indices in the hands are blackened white gold for contrast and they are faceted and polished. They really do pop against the white base. You have a number of concentric indicators down at, well, let's get that minute hand out of the way. Down at 6 o'clock you have a dial that represents small seconds, a radial date, and the day. So it's a date date complication but it's it's also a power reserve with an eight-day power reserve indicator. Of course, the watch is the descendant of the legendary 5100. On the reverse side, like that model, it has a movement that is properly sized and shaped for the case. Now, this is why I love this particular reference. Most Patek Philippe watches, and I'm talking about almost any Calatrava and any Nautilus, they feature movements of convenience. Patek will design the watch around the 324, the 240, or the 215, and then drop it in. Rarely does Patek say, we're starting with a clean sheet movement built specifically for a model. And that's what we have here, as this movement is both the size and the shape of the interior case. There's no mistaking the intent of this movement design. It was expressed for the model and the model family. Now, there's a lot to love. Yes, adjusted in six positions. Yes, free sprung for durability and precise adjustment. Yes, an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring. All of that comes together with Patek Philippe's assertion and guarantee that these would run no worse than minus three plus two seconds from the factory. You could see the Patek Philippe seal. Again, those combinations of features, six position adjustment, the seal, gyromax balance, and a silicon hairspring, you get that guarantee of accuracy. Now, the movement features twin mainspring barrels, an eight-day power reserve, though in fact it'll run a little bit longer. You have that gyromax style free sprung balance that Patek first launched in the early 1950s, and it was one of the first free sprung balance architectures in the business. So it's both historically pioneering and still relevant today for high horology durability and accuracy. Now you can see the finish here is first rate, old Geneva style individual finger bridges. So you have individual bridges 
for the drivetrain leading down to the escapement, and that's a nod to the pocket watch era of Patek Philippe. If you turn it on its side, you can see that the beveling on every bridge is absolutely a mile wide, mirrored and rounded, the real deal, finished up with gentian wood rather than machined with a... Uh, electronic device as much anglage is today. This is real manual anglage. All screw heads black polished with chamfered slots and circumference, and you can see a tight engine turning on the base plate with satination on the wheels and a lovely rich set of ridged Cote de Genève perfectly, and I mean perfectly, arrayed across the bridges. You'll also note that the jewel and screw sinks have a polished bevel around their edges. This is an extraordinary watch. Beaten away at 28,800 vibrations per hour and driving several complications, its power reserve is extraordinary, but then again, so is its rarity. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Oh, and it's 30 meters water resistant, but please don't test that.